Hello again. So in this next video, I want to show you the different ways in which you can find files that have been deleted and recover them using the Undelete software. Now, there's several different ways of doing this. We've tried to make it as easy as possible to find files because not when, when users delete files, they don't always remember all of the information that you need in order to recover a file quickly, easily and conveniently. So I'll take you through some of the options. So we'll start by opening up the Undelete recovery bin. Now, the quickest and easiest way, if you know where a file was when it was deleted, is to use this tree on the left hand side. So I, if I want to find something that's uh, been deleted from my desktop, I can go straight there, find the files, right click on them and recover them quite easily. But let's say, we didn't know where the file was before it was deleted, which can certainly happen. We have this search recovery bin option up here in the uh, in the toolbar in the ribbon here. So let's click on that and have a look at a few of the options. Now, first one is name. Hmm. I remember it there. The file name had the word important in it, so I can use um, wildcards to say file name had the word important in so if I use the asterisk wildcard it'll search for anything string important anything and then hit the search button and yep sure enough there's my important report that I deleted before showing up if I know the location or even roughly the location I can put that in here so let's say I, I didn't know it was actually on the desktop but it was in my user directory somewhere by including the subfolders in the search, I should still be able to find it. So yes, I have, and a few others as well. Now, date. I can say include the date the files were created or deleted in this search. So let's say search by files deleted in the last one day. Yep, there it's, it's finding them, that's good. Um, or I can say search for files deleted between two specific dates if you want to. So that's quite versatile. That's that's quite versatile right there. And it can be done in conjunction with what I've already filled in on the name and location. It, it'll. This is not a an or type search or an or type query. It's an and type query. So it'll take the data on here and cross correlate it with the data on here and cross correlate it with the owned slash deleted by information as well. So I can say, include the name of the user who owned the file. Now my username is S Ali. Um, uh, you can see that here. There's there's some files deleted by me. So if I search for that, it'll, fit, it'll just find files that were owned by me. Or I can say, include the name of the user who deleted the file. Um, so with these three search functions, you could be quite specific about locating the file or files that you wanted to recover. Even if you don't know all of the information about them, it's certainly a, a lot more convenient than saying, show me a list of all of the files in the recovery bin, which could be running into the hundreds or thousands or heaven forbid, even tens of thousands. You, that would be like looking for a needle in a haystack. But I'm sure you'll agree that by using just a few simple search query data, you can find those files a lot more conveniently. So I hope that's useful. See you in the next video.